Hello and welcome to another video and today we're having a bit of an explore we're on the outskirts of Worksop in Nottinghamshire and we've come to see what remains of Furbeck main colliery now this colliery has been closed since 1968 and it has been left abandoned since 1971 since the shafts have been infilled so we've come to see what remains. There's a few buildings still standing. I've heard there's still a few interesting little bits and pieces. So let's go and take a look and you can explore this with me. So this in here was clearly a, a toilet and a bathroom. Seen dirtier. <laughs> it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Obviously, a lot of it has been set on fire at some stage. Blackened and charred beams. It's absolutely full of pieces of cars. Dashboards, headlights, radios. Windscreen wipers, batteries, exhausts. This looks like it's taken us back out to where we started. Okay, All right, let's see where else we can go. All right, so that's where we've just been looking around. So there's some steps here. We're going to try and get down. There we go. Let's see if we can get around. Cool, bit of crunching. Get around. See if there's anything up here. So no, that's that's boarded up, so we're not. Be nice to get in there. So let's take a little look exactly where we are. So in the centre of the screen, we've got Langold Country Park. Now that's that lake you can see in the middle. Now as we pan on down to the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that grey, yellow, kind of like concreted area. Now that is the site of the Furbeck Main Colliery. So where we are exactly is if you go onto the A60 road and if we went south we'd end up in Worksop and if we carried on going north we'd head off towards Maltby, Tickhill and Doncaster. Okay we've now come around the opposite side, we've left those first buildings behind. Now we think this summer pretty cool along here. So let's come find out. So yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. I believe this was part of the bathhouses for the miners. I, I've, since it's been closed, you know, 1968. What's that, 50, 50 something years? 51 years? And we've just uh, been reliably informed that it is due to be demolished within the next couple of months, whether that comes to pass. We'll have to wait and see, so pretty pleased that we've come in here today. So let's have a little wonder, see what we've got in here. So a door, more, another tiled area. Oh, we've got ourselves a, a urinal and another toilet and a yard area on the outside. 
So looking out now, we're now at the side of the building where we first started off at, where all those burnt out rooms were. So that's the other side of that wall. So let's take a little look outside. Bit of a exposed drain there. Another one there. So there's the urinals we've just been in. This is um, an outside area, but there isn't really anything here. Uh, another room here. And Morrison's bagging some lots of children's shoes. It's very peculiar. So we're now outside, so we've just come in from that end and we've just walked through there out to the other side. And we're in the outside area with some fairly recent looking patched up brickwork there for whatever reason that's for. We'll have a look through this side. More. Not really one for graffiti, but there's some talent here, that's for sure. Whoa, look at that. That is deep. Wow. And looking through there, again, that's the first building that we went in. Okay. We've got some old, old wooden doors there, and we think we might be under that towel we saw from the outside. Yeah, that confirms that, so... So we're just making our way out of the... There's plenty of like bricks and piles of burnt mattresses and what have you. We're just making our way out of the second bathhouse. I call it a bathhouse, I might need to be corrected and back onto the front area where we began this part. Okay, so that was truly amazing. So that's Furbeck Colliery, closed in 1968 and been left abandoned since 1971. We've not done yet. There's a little bit more that we believe. If we can get into it, we'll have a look around. So we've just seen the outside of a little building. There is a way into that, but first I want to go and have a look at this. It's what, I apologise if it's picking up the wind. It looks like this is the old winding house.
So let's step back a moment and take a look at what this site previously looked like. So in this beautiful image from the 1930s, you've got the winding houses, you've got that beautiful chimney stack that is bellowing out the smoke, and it's got the two sets of winding wheels. And in this fine picture, now we're on the opposite side, so we stood behind the uh, winding houses where we previously were in the last picture. And you've got the two headstocks on the left and on the right, and all the other equipment laid out on the concrete area. And you can just make out part of the narrow gauge railway running from left to right in the lower part of the picture. So we're inside one of what would have been, I believe, two winding houses. The sheer size and scale of this room it's like a small cathedral. I don't think the camera does it justice. Okay, so we're not going to go in all that blackness. We think it's a dead end. So we're going to come out the way we came in and see if um, there's a way into the other side from the outside. So we had a little nosy around, we couldn't really find a way into the other half of the uh, winding houses. So we're currently on the outside just to see if there's anything else that we've missed. Uh, currently on a load of concrete barren like wasteland area where there used to be things and there aren't any more. Not sure what this would have been, some kind of conveyor belt structure or something. We found ourselves a bit of narrow gauge rail. But there we go, it doubles up just here. Wow, I can't go anywhere without finding an abandoned railway nowadays. Right. Well, it doesn't seem to go anywhere that way, so I think we're going to... So that's just trees down there. So we'll turn about and we'll follow it the way it seems to come from. Now, a little further down, we found, like, a pit between the rails. It goes a little further up and then that looks like the end of the line just there now it looks like we've found a little engine shed So yeah, this is truly amazing. So it's some kind of uh, railway shed, engine shed, uh, standard gauge. Still got the rails. The rails have been severed there at the exit of the building. And also they only appear to go as far as the entrance of this side of the building. Coming out of there, gets even better we've got more of that narrow gauge rail so it's it, it severed off just there 
But looking back this way, it appears that it also split off to two separate lines. That probably only goes as far as the end of this concrete area. So yeah, they finished there. So it's coming out of there. The uh, standard gauge line would most likely have come out along here. And I'm not sure myself if that was the direction of the railway line towards um, Harworth Junction and Furbeck Junction. Uh, trying to think what the bearings are. It's got to be in one direction or the other. I personally think it's that way. Look there, look at the old staircase, the remains of the staircase. So it would have gone up there and over there. That's amazing. So we have now found a way into the other side of the winding houses. It looks like we're currently on top of the section we was underneath earlier. So this is where we were earlier. So we came through there, then under there is that where it's all black and dark, where we didn't go down. Not sure if there's anything through here or not. Takes you back outside. Right, just one little bit left to explore. And then we'll be calling it a day. So there's just that little bit of a building over there. Yep, I did fall over just then. And that'll be it for Furbeck Main Colliery. Okay, that was the remains of Furbeck Main Colliery. That was absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed it too. As I say, it doesn't look like it's going to be around for much longer. Uh, it would be interesting to see if I can follow the old track bed of the former railway line off towards Harworth Junction. Anybody that's watched my previous video, uh, Harworth Colliery off towards uh, Furbeck Junction, Harworth Junction, um, will know that the, there is the line that comes down to this old disused colliery uh, up towards the line what I walked a few months ago. So like, subscribe, we'll mostly be back to doing canals and railways but occasionally we'd like to do an explore. Hope you've enjoyed it, take care, bye bye.